Hello, and we're back. And I hope you're doing okay in quarantine. I know I'm going a little stir crazy. You may be going a little stir crazy, but I'm here to do a video about flower hybrids and Animal Crossing. Now, like I said in my last video where I basically did an island tour and showed you all the things I do on my island in a day, um, Animal Crossing is bringing me a lot of joy in this quarantine, even though I'm feeling a little depresso. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. So I hope Animal Crossing is bringing you joy as well. And one of my favorite things to do on my island is to farm for hybrid flowers. Um, it's not as easy as it seems. Sometimes it's logical, sometimes it's not. So I'm gonna show you what I've had success with, which is a lot of black flowers, which I like because hello, I am your gothic grandmother. Um, <sighs> gothic as in not like goth, but like gothic, like the, the time in, in, history. Okay, uh, so I want to show you what I've had success with and then I want to show you some infographics that may be helpful to you, but I hate to disappoint you. Some of those flowers, like blue roses, are gonna be really hard to farm. So um, let's put on our farming outfit and do some farming together. And by farming, I mean gardening. I'm tired. And as you can see, we're back on my island. I'm kind of flower obsessed. I have them all over my island. Hello, Patty. Excuse me, Patty. Okay. Um, we're just going to jog up to my house where I have a bunch of stuff. I'm breeding on the side of it. Uh, the thing about breeding flowers in Animal Crossing is that sometimes it makes perfect sense how you get a certain color and other times it makes literally no sense. And sometimes you have to breed with native flowers and sometimes you have to breed with bread flowers, which is just so weird. And as you can see, I have a bunch of little rows here. All of these flowers I'm just trying to get flowers from. And here's a sign from my friend and coworker Aiden. Hi Aiden. I'm giving him some black tulips and black roses. Make sure that you share the hybrid flower wealth when you can. And like I said, sometimes flowers make perfect sense. Like red and white mums make pink mums. Okay, I can see that. And red and white lilies make lilies, but also red and red lilies make pink lilies. And so you have pink hyacinths and pink cosmos, which makes sense, red and white, perfect. But how do you get blue hyacinths? I, I'm not, I don't know what my guess would have been, but it's not what I thought it was. Here I am emoting some shock. Ah, it's white and white, white and white gives you blue. Okay, it's weird, doesn't really make any sense. But whatever, I don't make the rules, I just play by them. And here's a bunch of red mums, which I thought would maybe give me black mums, or... I don't know, purple? I thought purple for a while. Both of those things are incorrect, and here's me emoting the mistaken thing. Uh, yeah, here. And white and white makes blue for pansies as well, which also makes little sense to me. But again, I'm just the dum-dum who likes to breed flowers. White and white actually gets you purple, not red and red. And white and white roses will also get you purple roses, which is really cool. It kind of bothers me that all the purples aren't the same, but red and red roses will give you black roses. And I was lucky, rose is my native flower, so I had plenty. And red and red lilies, not only will they give you pink, but they will also give you black. And orange and orange will give you black cosmos, which is crazy. It's not red and red like it has been for all the other ones. Nope, nope, it's orange and orange. How annoying. We're going to time skip a little bit. And here, this is really tricky. Orange and purple roses will give you red bread roses. With those red bread roses, which I have separated over here, you will get blue roses. But the chance of you getting blue roses is so slim. I have been farming these for a while and have got nothing. I had got a pink one and some black ones, which is super annoying. And over here, the orange tulips will give you purple tulips. And again, the white mums will give you purple mums, which I love. I think they're so pretty. And here we are zooming down. I have some more. I have pink windflowers here. And how do you get pink windflowers? Red and white? That would be the logical thing. No, of course not. Here's me laughing at you and myself because it's orange and yellow. Or orange and red. Orange and red. Those are the two colors on the screen right now. And there's me doing the mistaken emote because I too was mistaken. And here we have orange hyacinths. Pretty self-explanatory. We have orange roses, which are self-explanatory. The pink ones are great. You can get it from red and red or red and white. I got mine from red and white. Pink hyacinths again. And the purple ones you get from two oranges or two blues. So just like basically do whatever you want because Animal Crossing doesn't care about your feelings or thoughts. And here's a good way to get started if you want to start farming your own hybrids. You go in here and you talk to these children who are violating every worker's law there is to ever exist. And you go into your cabinet, and you should have your own island flower seeds here. Um, not only just the ones that are native to your island, but your sister flower as well. And you can just buy some of those and get started. And while you're in there, though, don't forget to tab over with your little right trigger to see all the wallpaper 
and flooring that's available for you in the day. Okay, bye tiny children who shouldn't be working here. You're welcome. Okay, bye. So that's one way to get started farming flowers, which is great. And you don't just have to farm them. Also, you can use them for pretty things. Like these yellow cosmos will give me nothing but more yellow cosmos, which is fine. And then what do you do with all the rest of them? Oh, you just plant them randomly because they look beautiful. Do it for the aesthetic. I love it. I have flower beds everywhere on my island because I just think that they're so pretty. And I don't know. It's like kind of peaceful to breed the flowers that you want and you feel a little accomplished which is silly because this is a silly game but it's good for my dumb dumb brain another great way to get flowers is by going to nook islands and seeing if you can get a, a hybrid island and collect some flowers there and bring them back here i am showing you this outfit because i really want you to see it's eat your amelia Earhart out yes that is my travel outfit i just wanted you to know and here i am forgetting that i have turnip in my pocket and patty just absolutely not having it sitting right in front of me as i run to take the turnips out of my pockets. Whoops. Anyway, we're going back. Don't move an inch, Patty. It's fine. And here I am on my Nook Island. I'm hoping for a hybrid island, but I do see oranges up there in the corner, which is my native fruit, which probably means, oh, there's my native flower, the rose. But here's what happens if you run through your flowers instead of walk. Yep, it blows all the petals off and it takes them like two or three days to grow back, which is super annoying. This is not a hybrid island. I won't waste your time. And we're back at my place. And I'm changing back into my outfit, which if you haven't noticed is a red panda. Because Mei Mei, the red panda at the Oregon Zoo, is my favorite animal to ever exist. So this is in honor of Mei Mei. But as you can see, I have all of my flowers in rows like this. And if you water them in rows, they will sprout flowers right next to the rows like these black cosmos have. Um, but there's another way and a really popular way that a lot of people on the internet plant their flowers to get them to breed so I will show you if this is more your jam here I am I am scooping up these orange cosmos and I'm going to speed this up so you don't have to sit here and watch it oh here's me going for a balloon I missed once but I got it the second time yeah here I am taking up the rest of these cosmos and it did spawn that pink one right there instead of black ones which was annoying and again it is a mixed bag sometimes with these flowers you think it's going to do one thing it's not going to do another but here I am sort of placing them in this little like v pattern and your flowers will grow in those empty spots right there where you can see me twirling around, which is fun. Now, here I am going to put you on the secret of all secrets for breeding flowers, and that is having a friend come to your island and water them. I know that sounds silly, and maybe your friends don't want to water it, but if you give them a watering can and ask them just oh so sweetly if they could please water your flowers, your chances for hybrid flowers goes up exponentially. I don't know why, this is from Mind Data, and also that's my friend Annie, for which there is a sign for her right there. Um, and we water each other's flowers as often as we can because we have found that we will get the rarer flowers when that happens. Um, so even if you've watered your flowers already today, have your friend water them, be super sweet to them, do all the nice emotes at them, don't accidentally use the mistaken one when you mean the joy one, whoops. And then maybe even sweeten the pot by leaving them a little tip for watering your flowers. It's just nice, it's courteous, she doesn't need it, she's wearing the hat, she's really flexing on me right now. Uh, that crown is like 1.2 million bells or something. But, and here's me trying to type with my big ham-fisted fingers. Thank you. I messed it up the first time. But we gonna get it because she deserves it. I'm gonna write out that message nice and slow. I do have the Nintendo app. I could have opened it, but I didn't. So, have your friends water your flowers. It makes a big difference for sure. And she winked at me. These are just the flower hybrids that I can speak to because I've done them myself. Now I will put an image in the comment section and description box below um, so that way you can look at some of the hybrids uh, that are available on Animal Crossing as according to mind data. But again, it is a weird mixed bag. Look, if it's your dream to have a flower hybrid paradise, I hope that you do that. And I hope that this helps. If you don't care about flowers, you just want to catch bugs and fish or get the cutest villagers, you do whatever you want because that's what Animal Crossing is about. You get to live your best life and I hope that you do. I would love to see your islands and I would love to become Switch friends. So if you are playing Animal Crossing, I am putting my Switch code in the description box below. Um, so I hope you are enjoying this Animal Crossing content. I will be making more comics content soon. I have not forgotten. I was waiting for some comics to come in the mail and now they have and I'm very excited. So we'll be getting back to that, but I would still love to make more Animal Crossing content. I know a lot of people are playing and having a great time. So let me know if you're looking for some specific Animal Crossing content. I think I'm going to do a video debunking some ways to get rid of your ugly villagers that you don't want <laughs> because I've tried every way. I've tried every way. 
I have ugly villagers, I don't want them. <laughs> um, and I might do one about Flick and uh, yeah, some other stuff. So just let me know. I'm really excited um, to continue this saga with you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're doing okay in quarantine. I know times are tough right now, so I hope you're finding something that's making you really happy. For me, it's Animal Crossing. Could be something else for you. Um, and I hope to see you guys soon. This has been Nerd News with Destiny.